and welcome to another episode of Ask Octopus, where we answer uh, questions that we get from the community and the customers that we talk to regularly. Uh, I'm Ryan Russo, and uh, as always, I've got Bob and Derek with me. Hello. Hey, guys. All right, guys. Got a good question today. Uh, and, and I've been kind of hitting them out of the park, I think, recently, because it's like I get a question, I'm like, that's immediately going to, to Ask Octopus. So this is a fresh, <laughs> very fresh question. Uh, the question is, can I preload packages to my deployment targets? Uh, and this question stems out of a conversation I had with a customer where they are, they're using tendency. Uh, the demo I'm using, I'm doing for this isn't using tendency because I just want to keep it simple, but they're deploying to their customer's infrastructure. So the deployment targets aren't on their servers. They're, uh, they're not in the cloud. They're just sitting on servers at their customer's sites or in their customer's data center. So a little bit more hops to get to those. And some of the internet connections aren't great. Mm -hmm. So when they go to deploy, the, the actual transfer of the package takes longer for some of these customers than others. And they wanted to see if they could get around that. And specifically, they asked, can we, can we just like upload the packages through, like during the day? If we do our deployments at night, can we upload them during the day? And then when we go to actually run the deployment, it'll just use the packages that are already there. Uh, so I took a look into it, and the answer is yes, you can do that. And I think there's a few different ways that you can do this. Uh, and I'm going to use our OctoFX project as the demo. But I've also created, I didn't give it a, a cool icon like Bob does for his demo, so I'm falling behind here. Uh, but I created a transfer OctoFX package uh, project. And what that pr uh, project is using is a handful of transfer package steps. So if we look at the step selector, there is a option for transfer a package. Now this is not deploy a package, it's kind of like if you wanted to uh, split up the work of deploy a package, I wanna transfer it and then at a later time, I just want it to be there so that I can extract it or do some modifications to it, use it in some way. Uh, so you would uh, give it a name, choose a role that you would like to, uh, to use and then you just choose the package. So I wanna choose one of the OctoFX ones. Um, but what you do is you give it a transfer pass. So after it transfers and gets put into the, the package cache for the target, it's going to then copy it to this transfer path location. So you could put it in a temp folder, you could put it into uh, maybe some asset folder that you're using, whatever you're doing with this package, it's, it's gonna end up in the transfer pass path. Uh, so that's good. I'm going to not save this, but I do have that. That's what I'm using. I think we were discussing this earlier, and I think you could, probably use a script step with the um, package references or reference packages attached to it and get the same effect because all we really want to do is get those packages into the package cache on the target. Uh, and then the run a script step with those references will clean it up automatically for you. So that may be a better way of doing it, but this was the, the way I tested and that I, I know works for, for this demonstration. Uh, and then just because of that, I didn't want, I'm putting all of those, those packages into a temp folder if we look at one of my steps. So they're just all going to C temp because I'm not actually using them other than getting them into the, the cache. And then I just have a simple script that's going to go through and use the output uh, variable for that step where it put it. I'm just deleting it because I don't want them hanging around using our old friend write highlight. So if I create a release, it's gonna create a, a package. Uh, it's gonna create a release that's gonna upload a package that hasn't been deleted. Hasn't been deleted, that it hasn't been deployed yet. It also hasn't been deleted because it doesn't exist. I'm gonna deploy that. And then we'll go and look and see how that affects OctoFX. Uh, while we're running this, because uh, I didn't ask earlier, uh, Derek or Bob, have y'all had this question come up before? Have y'all, is this something you've thought about or new one? I've had a, I've had a couple of questions where it's about tra um, transferring packages. It's, it t tends to be more like multi-region stuff, like, you know, how do we move this and have this, you know, because that's the thing is, is like, it's when do you do it, saturating it or that. So this is a really nice solution to that, uh, Ryan. Yeah, there's a related question here that is, more of like the edge node uh, problem, which is I, I'm deploying to 100 targets. 
in this data center and I don't want to transfer it a hundred times. I want to transfer it to one target there and have it kind of spread from there. Uh, that's a different problem, um, which has, I mean, there are some things and maybe that's a good question for like a future one uh, mm -hmm. that we can, we can tackle. But this one is specifically like we're deploying to one target or maybe a couple targets at the client site and we just want to preload them. Okay, so they've been preloaded. And if we hop over to OctoFX and we're going to create a release, see that it's uh, using the same, oh, it doesn't use the service package anymore. I may have, I may have broken our, our demo project somehow. No big deal, that's not <laughs> important. It's, as long as one of these packages gets deployed, we're fine. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to deploy, uh, oh, another tip. Bonus tip for this Ask Octopus. Um, to get your acquire packages to always happen at the beginning of the, the process, because usually what you will see is your acquire packages will sh show up somewhere in the middle of your process, and it shows up right before the first step that uses a package. So if you have some, like we're doing a lot of work on the database, we're like creating users, uh, making sure database exists, and doing a lot of work, then then we would acquire packages, which may take some time. If you want all of that to be closer together, you can actually set a setting on one of your, your first step with package requirement. And the default is let Octopus, Octopus decide, but if you change it to this step needs to run after package acquisition, that forces package acquisition up to the top. Yeah, that was something that we ran into at uh, at a pre that I ran into at a previous job because we were doing downtime, and so our scripts would basically like, in a nutshell, just like take everything down, yeah. And then it would try to acquire the packages, and that would take a minute or two because these were pretty big packages. It take a minute or two to acquire everything, and then it'd do the deployment. The deployment was maybe like ten seconds, and then it would bring everything back up. But we had like this much larger than we what we needed for downtime. So that's, that's really good to know. Yeah, same thing. If your first step is a manual approval mm -hmm. and in it's maybe say that manual approval was sitting there for 10 minutes and somebody gets around to approving it, they approve it and then it's going to acquire packages later. Well, you could have acquired packages before that happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and speaking of acquire packages, we're just going to jump into uh, the log here and you'll see that the message will actually show that that new package that was uploaded that had not been deployed yet was found in the cache. No upload is needed. So this solves the problem as asked. Uh, is there a way to get that, that package into the, the package cache on the target before you actually want to deploy it? A um, couple of options potentially, but definitely transfer a package will work for you. And as long as that package stays in the cache, then, then it will... Uh, work with this behavior. So as long as the retention policies don't go through and, and clean up any releases and, and clear that from the cache. Yeah, I'd say, I mean, definitely do this step. I probably wouldn't do the transfer package step like a week before, uh, probably like middle, like if you're doing a deployment at say 7 p.m., maybe push out the packages over lunch or something like that. Yeah, like same day usually, maybe the day before, but yeah, definitely don't try and preload stuff like weeks and weeks in advance because then you just maybe run into the issue of the the cache being invalidated or being removed for some reason. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is if, if that cache were to ever get cleaned up by accident, your packages would still be downloaded. It would just take a little bit longer. For the yeah, it just reverts to the the old behavior, which is your deployment takes a little bit longer while it transfers the package. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Uh, that is it. That is my my question for the week. So let me jump back to the slides and uh, hopefully that was a helpful question for the viewers, uh, something you can try out to maybe speed up your deployments. If you have an interesting question, uh, please do submit it to us. You can, we have a, a website with a form that you can submit it at hello.octopus.com, ask octopus. Uh, or if you want to, you can email us at support at octopus.com or join us on Slack and, and join the octopus community and ask questions there. All right. So thanks everybody for watching and thanks Bob and thanks Derek for joining. So long. Cheerio.